All because one individual is obese, the other in amazing shape. And little did they know, they've been married together since they were 15. Coach Greg, and what is wrong with people? We have a happily married couple with one individual in amazing shape, bodybuilder, the other obese. People judging them, saying, what is wrong with this guy? Why is he with her? Something wrong with this guy. Is he gay or something? Oh, she must be rich because why would he be with her? Shame on you. And so she's famous on TikTok, her and her husband, Scott, and she quite literally lives in Halifax. I've gone to parties, gone to dinner, eaten with both of these individuals, a great couple. She also is involved in health and fitness. She used to be a bikini competitor, personal trainer. She knows all about eating right and health and fitness. And so she posted a TikTok video, went viral over 20 million views in under a week. Only it went viral for all the wrong reasons. Not because they thought it was cool, but because people thought this was weird, odd, strange that it shouldn't take place. All because one individual is obese, the other in amazing shape. And so you have to respect Alicia who went at this directly. She's not backing down or hiding from this. She addresses the elephant in the room. I posted a simple transition video of me and my husband going from towels to dressed up together. This is not unlike what all kinds of different couples do on this app. And so you can see Scott in the back, amazing condition, could certainly be a bodybuilding competitor on stage. In comparison, Alicia, she's carried a lot more weight. She is in fact obese. But so what? Does that affect the love that they have for each other? That they've been together all these years? Doing way better than all these people thinking, oh, I'm so great. I look like this. I have a six pack. So what? It's what's on the inside that counts. And yes, I promote people being at a healthy weight to try and live a long and healthy life. But she's trying. She exercises, eats healthy, used to compete in bikini. But not everyone is born genetically to be shredded. Not everyone has the same genetics. For her, a lot harder. When she dieted for bikini, very challenging, starving all the time. Was not worth it for her doesn't mean she doesn't care about her health or her fitness levels. It just means that her genetics don't want her to be shredded year round the way that Scott is. My video went viral and I know we all know why. It's because by beauty standards, we don't make sense. So this is why I really respect Alicia here. She didn't say, oh, we all know why it went viral. We're both 10 on 10s. Our bodies are both perfect. And so she addresses the elephant in the room. She says, we all know why it went viral because of the trash beauty standards. People think that just because one person is in amazing shape, that they can't be with somebody who isn't in amazing shape. The world looks at us and immediately values Scott more than me. And so she knows it. You don't have to tell her, point it out. She knows. She knows people are thinking, Scott is in better shape than you. He looks better because he's leaner. You're obese. And so how are you two together? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't add up. So she reads comments. DMs are sent to her and Scott saying, this doesn't add up. You guys aren't a match. It shouldn't be together. You're not in shape enough for this guy. And since we don't add up, people try to add things to my side of the equation to make it make sense by saying things like, oh, she must not have been fat when they met, or oh, she's gotta be rich. And so people are trying to figure out how they could be together. Oh, maybe when they met, she was lean and she just gained weight and it's too late because they're married and, and poor him. Or she must be really rich because that's why he would go after her. Because why wouldn't he? Or perhaps he's gay. Oh, he just into fat chicks. He's a chubby chaser. No, why? Why would you think that? Could it be that she has a great personality, that they've been in love, that he loves her for her, and that it doesn't matter what's on the outside? Could it not be that? Is that not the simplest answer rather than thinking, oh, she must be rich. She must have been skinny when they met and something went wrong. Why would you think that? And so it's really sad to see that this behavior is going on and they have to go through this, but more power to her for calling it out, making videos and saying, what is wrong with you? Why are you doing this? And so these videos helping millions of people to get things together, to get things right, 
to no longer judge people for what they look like, but rather, what are they like on the inside? We've been made to believe that somebody who is physically fit like Scott could never in a million years be in love with or compatible with a fat woman. And so imagine people having to read these comments. And just because they have a, a lot of followers doesn't mean they're immune to the negativity that they're reading. And little did it know, they've been married together since they were 15. And so she's responding back because she knows she's in the right. Been married for years. People that don't know, they're judging and thinking, this has to be a fake put on, it's not real, it's an escort. Imagine thinking that every single day, being judged by other people, thinking they're looking at us and thinking, why is he with me? Because he's better looking based on the trash beauty standards of today. And that's solely because the world has literally taught us that we have to value our worth on our bodies. And she's 100% right. Far too many people value their self-worth based on how they look. How many people go to the gym for aesthetics alone? Not that there's anything wrong with that, but what do you think is more important? To look a certain way or to feel a certain way? To be healthy. There's nothing wrong with going to the gym and training to look the best that you can and trying to be as attractive as possible. But when you place too much value on that attraction and not enough on what your personality actually is, what you have on the inside, that's when a problem can result. A woman slid into Scott's DMs and said, you should be with somebody who looks like me. She was thin and by beauty standards, a 10 out of 10. Clearly, does it not make more sense to be with somebody that makes you happy? That what they say, do, their personality, how they act like, sense of humor, all the different qualities, is that not what we really want? Looks, beauty, fade. Fades in time. How many of you at 90 are you gonna look as good as you did at 20? And does it matter? Does it really matter? Or is it not more important to be happy with that individual, that special someone that you call your partner? Telling myself for the majority of our relationship that I'm not worthy of his love because of my body is the exact same thing as this thin woman telling him that she is worthy of his because of her body. I'm undervaluing myself and she is overvaluing herself. And so rather than her thinking, I'm not good enough for him because I'm overweight, why would she think that? Why should she ever think that? Makes no sense. And so value yourself on the inside. I get asked this question all the time. Do you get jealous when people hit on your husband? And my answer is always no. Most of the time people are put off by this or confused as to why not. That's because when people typically slide into his DMs, they're leading with their body first. And on the scale of what my husband values, how well my body fits into the beauty standards is not on the top of his list. And so why would or should she be jealous of someone who's perhaps a 10 on 10 if that is not what her partner values? Why does it matter? I don't care. Be like saying, are you jealous? That guy over there, he's seven, six, he's so much taller, are you jealous? Well, why should I care if my girlfriend doesn't want to date tall guys? How would that matter? If height isn't important, is that really going to affect if you're jealous or not? And if you actually love your partner and are not worried they're going to cheat on you, then why would you be jealous? In fact, my opinion, rather than being jealous, you could say, hey, that's great. People like my partner. They think they're attractive. Hey, that's a bonus. How's that bad? And so to me, if you're that jealous, probably because there's something wrong with the relationship. If you don't trust your partner, you think they're going to be cheating on anybody who's more attractive than you, then there's something wrong in that relationship. And I get it. If this is the way you think, it's the way you've been taught. However, it is your responsibility to unlearn it. Just because you were taught or raised this way doesn't mean it's proper, doesn't mean it's right. It's your job to unlearn it. Consider this analogy. Blacks and whites, oh, I'm not racist, but they shouldn't mix. They shouldn't date. They shouldn't be together. That's a common thought 100 years ago. A lot of people thought black people date black people, white date white. This is ridiculous. Today, we know this, but a lot of people 100 years ago, they would have been raised to think that. And so if you were raised to think that, or if you think that right now, it's your job, your responsibility to stop thinking that way. Start reading more, educate yourself. Why would that be a problem? And so I'm sure that most of the people watching this video realize black, white, together, dating, married, fine. What's wrong with that? Of course they should. And so how is it different? Tall, short, 
Fat tin, muscles, no muscles. And so none of this matters. These outward beauty standards, what truly matters is what's on the inside and that you treat your partner with respect. And so a lot of people think that my channel is one to shit on people who are overweight. Not the case. I encourage people to be at a healthy weight for them. Life is not about being perfect. It's about being healthier than you are. Do your best, 150 minutes of cardio a week. Try to eat healthy, lose some weight if you can. Don't starve yourself, don't be miserable, but try to be as healthy as you can. The healthier you are, the longer you're gonna live. Does that make sense? And so that is my message. And remember, we've just launched the hard copy versions of all the cookbooks and the training books. You can get those by clicking the link in the description. Also, if you purchased the PDF version in the past, we sent emails to all of you, so check your emails. You have a huge discount. You can get the hard copy version if you're interested. Remember, the books are full of easy to make, low calorie, high volume meals with lots of protein for the big eaters. Also, harder than last time supplements, you get those by clicking the link in the description and we also have free training programs close to 20 pages giving those out for free for becoming a newsletter subscriber please click the link in the description please check out the bloops at least one subscribe and click that bell button right now like the video follow me click the bell button and until next time i am out